Okay, so in this short video on indifference curves, we're going to take a look at the special case of when income is going up, consumers better off, but one of the products they're thinking of choosing between is, is estimated to be inferior. So uh, let's take an example. A consumer is thinking of buying uh, some of their income, either some fresh pasta, some high quality fresh pasta, or some pretty low grade value economy baked beans. There's the choice. One product has a positive income elasticity demand. I'll assume that's the pasta. One product we can assume, I think, as a, as a negative income elasticity demand, which is characteristic of inferior goods. So here we go. We're going to assume that uh, pasta is has a positive income elasticity demand. People want to buy more when the income rises. Own label baked beans, a different story. Here's the initial equilibrium at the point of tangency between the indifference curve IC1 and the budget line BL1. Consumer is initially choosing quantity C of pasta and A of own label baked beans. Then we increase the consumer's income. So they're better off, perhaps because of a tax cut or wage increase. But we assume the prices of the two products remain the same. And if there's no change in relative price, then the gradient of the budget line stays the same. And what happens is it shifts out. There's a, an outward shift in the budget line to BL2. That allows the consumer to move on to a higher indifference curve. And when you're drawing normal and inferior goods, you have to kind of uh, draw the indifference curves in a particular way. Just take some practice. Keep in mind, of course, that indifference curves can't intersect. So be careful when you're drawing them. So I've drawn it this way. IC2 is a higher indifference curve that can just be reached the point of tangency between BL2 and IC2, the tangency is there, just about, I think. <laughs> what does that mean for quantity? Well, the consumer buys a lot more pasta, but buys less own label baked beans. So the consumer is going to buy a lot of pasta. Let's put uh, the increase in the hour there. That's the increase in the pasta consumed. But there's actually going to be some less quantity of own label baked beans purchased. So that suggests that pasta is a, a, a normal good with a strong income elasticity of demand, whereas baked beans is an inferior good with a negative income elasticity of demand. What does that do for the demand curve for baked beans? Well, it tells us that if real income goes up, even if price stays the same, then we would expect to see perhaps an inward shift of the demand curve for sort of economy baked beans. Consumers might move on to superior products. So that is how you use indifference curve analysis to show the effect of an increase in income where one of the products is estimated to be inferior. Okay, thanks for joining in on this one.